Hey everybody, so this is our third and final Daily Dead meeting today for May the 4th Be With You, Star Wars Special Editions. Uh, today we're going to actually try to do some baking, and we're going to, um, probably the most risky of them all, because A, I'm not a baker, but B, I've never done it live before either. So I pre-mix everything. We're going to do Star Wars sugar cookies, is what we're going to try to do. So, after it's over, I'll put the recipe in the comments, or uh, underneath the video, so you'll be able to reference back the... the recipe and how it's done. I pre-mix some of the stuff, have it ready for us to be able to go. Um, so hopefully this will work out. We'll find out. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want the butter to be room temperature. We mix the butter and the sugar together and also with the vanilla e extract. Now when you look at the recipe it's always important to keep track of how much it is. Um, so the tablespoons and teaspoons and all that kind of stuff. It can be confusing. Uh, the first batch I actually did today I put a tablespoon of uh, baking powder when it's supposed to be a teaspoon. I put a teaspoon of uh, baking soda, which was supposed to be the opposite. So you need to definitely make sure to you read the recipe correctly and you uh, can think about, take it out. So I mixed up the butter and the sugar already and the vanilla extract. It's gonna need an egg in there as well. So we're gonna crack an egg, put it in there. Make sure there's no shell. I'm gonna whip it, it's gonna be loud for a second, sorry. Now, if you whip it too fast, what happens is that the sugar and the butter and the egg fly everywhere. So you want to do it slowly, um, especially because the next phase of the project, once you have all that done, is that you're going to mix in the flour, the baking soda, and the baking powder all in there at the same time. Now, you do a little bit at a time, um, but you mix it all together. So again, again, you want to start off slow because you go fast and you're going to have flour everywhere. I've learned many times about being patient with baking. Let's add a little bit more in there. I'm not cheating to do it all. And I'll do it really slow. Though we should do it in probably about three or four goes. So as this is mixing around, what we're going to do next is we're actually going to make the sugar now, uh, make the cookies. Typically, when you do sugar cookies, what happens is that you make them into a ball and then you uh, let them melt onto the uh, cook onto the, the baking tray, but we're gonna do ours a little bit different. All right, we got all the greens done I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator. I'm gonna stick it over here um, I've had some in the refrigerator, which I made up to look a little bit different I've added some color in ours. Uh, so we got a little green sugar cookies and Trying to do a little black now black is really tough to do, but it looks kind of blackish um, We're gonna use our tray and like I said, typically with sugar cookies, what happens is that you take a um, ball and you roll it up into the ball like this and you just set, set it down onto the, the tray and eventually it'll just cook down and spread down. I'm sure there's a technical term for that. We're going to do ours a little bit different because we want it to be Star wars -y. So we're going to roll it out, which means that we're going to shorten the cook time quite a bit. So it's supposed to take eight minutes to cook. Um, it's only been taking about four minutes. We have a nice little cookie cutter we're going to put right there. Steal the, take it off the edges. And then we're gonna lift it up, see how it is. Oh, well, maybe, hopefully it'll work. There you go. What do you guys think? Not too bad. Maybe we'll do one Yoda. And then let's see if we could do this one. Do the same thing. We'll roll it out. Now, also with the tray, because we're spreading it out and all that kind of stuff, uh, it takes a, a significant less amount of dough to fill up a tray. All right, and you can see our next one. It's a nice little Darth Vader, more like a tie-dye Darth, Darth Vader than it is a all-black Darth Vader. Now, we put them in the oven. So like I said, if you do a ball, it typically takes seven to eight minutes. We're gonna come over here. See, this is a tray that I had in there just finished up uh, with our Darth Vader's. Now they sit on the tray for about two minutes, three minutes, uh, before we move on over to the rack. Um, and then the previous ones I did, our Yoda's turned out all right. You can kind of see it, not too bad. And then we got also uh, we about four dozen cookies is what we're gonna make before this is over. So after I'm done baking, I'll add the recipe in there, check them out, try them, see how they go. Uh, it's our last video for today, so may the fourth be with you. I hope you have a fantastic day and celebration. And we will see you tomorrow with the next Daily Dead meeting. May the force be with you.